Joshua, and uh, I'm here to dispel a myth about Scribe Online connectors. They're not hard to build, they're very easy, they can be very fast, and uh, uh, you can get them deployed and get to working on your solution very quickly. Uh, and that's what Connector Outlaws is all about. It's about building your connector, getting it out there, and doing it quickly and fast. Hello and welcome back. I'm Joshua Solomon. I'm Samantha Gates. And uh, on this episode, we're going to talk about how to use Fiddler to troubleshoot some of your connectors that you're building using the connector outlaw methods. Uh, so, what is Fiddler? Yeah, what is Fiddler? And why would you need it? Why would you need it? So, okay, so Josh, we have a couple scenarios how people can build connectors. So you could be using the Fast Connector Framework, which has just been released, and you could make a simple connector with that with non-hierarchical data, mm -hmm. right? You could be doing something more robust with a full CDK built connector. Um, but then if you're running to any problems along the way or you want to make sure that it's working right, what are your choices? What can you do? Well, what, what we don't have visibility in when we're debugging is actually what's leaving the agent computer uh, and that mm -hmm. HTTP traffic that's headed out over the wire. And so we don't know exactly what's going on in there. And so that's where we start using Fiddler because it is okay. an HTTP traffic monitor. Um, why do you need to do this? You know, why can't you just do a regular debug session both in the Scribe Online maps? Because we do have a, that debug feature, which right, we've we talked do have about. That. Yeah. Um, and, and you also can debug in Visual Studio. But um, with the Fast Framework, that's one of the limitations. The Fast Framework does abstract a lot of the processes that take place with the Scribe Online agent uh, so that the Fast Framework allows you to code your connector much quickly with REST services, but what it doesn't allow you to do is to debug through that abstracted code. So um, especially when you're using the Fast Framework, Fiddler is very handy in seeing exactly what your REST and JSON res requests and responses are going to be. Um, it displays exactly what the agent is sending out and exactly what the web service is coming back. So, where do we get it? We get it right at the Telerik website. Um, here's your link. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You download Fiddler. You got 32-bit options. You've got 64-bit options. You download okay. it. You install it. Pretty straightforward stuff. All right. So to get everything set up. Yeah. So. Um, Fiddler does act as an intercept for your HTTP, HTTP traffic. It is a proxy server. Uh, so what you need to do is set up your Scribe Online agent, your local agent that you're doing your testing with, to use that proxy server that the Fiddler creates for you so that all of your traffic will go through and be recognized by Fiddler. In order to do that, you have to make a change to the config file within the Scribe Online agent. Now, we do have proxy server setup instructions for very specific high secure environments that are in the Scribe Online uh, agent documentation uh, that uses the same file. The file is the Scribe Core Processor Service.exe.config file. It's an XML file, and you do need to add these lines to the bottom of that file. So, in order to uh, get that to work, uh, you take those, those lines, and we're just going to show you those. So, this config file is right in the root of the agent directory, wherever you installed it on your dev system. And it has a lot of uh, uh, information in here. And uh, you scroll all the way to the bottom, and what we're going to do is we're going to insert these lines into your document. So you right. can get these lines from the blog that's associated with this video. Right, that um, way it'll be easy to copy and paste. You don't have to type it all out. And you can see I've already pasted it in here, but I have commented out on my agent. So I'm going to uncomment it and I'm going to save my config file. So you leave it in there and that way you can move back and forth between needing to use Fiddler or not you needing to use Absolutely. Fiddler. Absolutely. Okay. So I only leave it in there when I need to actually see what that traffic is and I need to use Fiddler to, to okay. troubleshoot something. And this is in on. your local agent, not in a cloud agent. Right. We don't have the ability to, to allow customers to do this in our cloud agents. We okay. manage all of those agents. Okay. All right. So in order for that to work, uh, that config file is only read by the agent uh, uh, at startup. So, 
I have made the change, but my local agent is not ready to go. So what I need to do is I need to, once again, I need to start that agent. Uh, oh, I apologize, I don't need to start that agent, do I? <laughs> what I do need to do is I need to stop the agent. Mm -hmm. I need to start Fiddler, because in order for that agent to come online and, and communicate with the world the way it's supposed to, it needs to go through that proxy server. Oh, right. And if I don't have Fiddler started, the yeah. agent's going to automatically yeah. shut itself down. So I do need to do a couple of things here. So what I need to do is to go out and first stop my agent. You see, I have a couple on my machine, but this is the one that I just edited. Okay, so you stop that. I need to actually start Fiddler. Uh, so I have Fiddler here. And we'll let Fiddler start up and get set doing its thing. So it's now tracking traffic on so it's my gonna machine. Track it. So if you're on CNN or some website for the news, yep, it's, it's going to see it's that. It's actually going to track everything that's going okay. through that proxy. And you can see that uh, Scribe Online the, is, is, uh, is one of the web pages that I have open. Yep. So Fiddler's up and running. We're now going to start the agent, and we should see a, a, a little bit more traffic coming through Fiddler now. And so here oh, yeah. we have the Scrabble Online agent services mm -hmm. are starting to come online. And what we can see is the raw messages that are being sent in and out. We can get uh, both the, the, the send and the receive here. That's awesome. So this is what we're interested in seeing to see yeah. what a connector is sending out mm -hmm. and what the connector is receiving. Okay. All right, so we go back to our PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. We started Fiddler, we started the agent. Now we're ready to run the map and see what actually takes place. Okay. So, <clears throat> as I mentioned before, uh, when you're using the FAST framework, and this is a FAST framework connector, it's called NextCaller. You can find NextCaller, it's a Scribe Labs connector, it's in our marketplace. Uh, you can see that this NextCaller FAST framework connector has a single call in it. And that's the single call. It describes the rest call that we need to call in order to get a caller ID back on a phone number. So next caller is a, a caller ID uh, uh, phone number enhancement tool okay. that allows you to get caller ID information. Let's say you're running a call center. A call comes in, you have a phone number, and you would like to know who the owner of that phone number oh. is. They didn't leave their name. Oh. Yeah. Next caller can give you that information and have it inserted into your Salesforce system uh, uh, or CRM or ERP yeah. for yeah. all of your billing purposes. But, it's a great way to get a reverse lookup. Absolutely. Yeah. But using the FAST framework, this is the only line of code that we've inserted in our connector. Mm -hmm. If I were to debug using this, uh, the, the agent would not debug through this set of code because mm -hmm. the FAST framework actually references the core connector API and the connector framework. And so all of that information is abstracted. We don't get to debug through the framework, which is where all of that information is going to be tracking through. So uh, to give you an example, what we'll do is we'll go out to my code testing solution and we will uh, go into our next caller map, our test map that we have here. And what we can see is we're querying account information with uh, uh, a phone number out of Salesforce. We're looking up next caller, getting that caller ID information, and we're putting it back into Salesforce as the contact information. So we're expanding that information. And so what I'm going to do is uh, go over here to debug. And now that we've got Fiddler going, we see that everything that we do in a web page is actually going through Fiddler. We can mm -hmm. see that it's actually uh, walking through all of that data. So to okay. clear things up, I'm going to use the, the uh, uh, I thought I had a toolbar here to clear things out. Yeah, I but thought let's you not did before, yeah. Um, so what we'll do is we're just going to hit start on our debug page and mm -hmm. we're going to watch Fiddler pull all of this information out. So the first thing that's happening here is that the map is logging into Salesforce. Okay. Then it's logging into the next caller API. Okay. Then it's going to query Salesforce for uh, that account information so that the next call, and then it's going to stop. So, okay, right, so it's going in and it's trying to actually perform the uh, lookup value that you configured in the map. Exactly. Okay. And so if we come back here to Fiddler, what we can see is that. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that right there. Let's see. 
we've logged into Next Caller. Mm -hmm. We've logged into Salesforce, and we can see the information going the yep. outbound, inbound. Mm -hmm. And here, we're actually querying some information out of Salesforce. And mm -hmm. so my guess is if I come back here, I'll be able to hit Next. So mm -hmm. we did get information back out of Salesforce. Okay. So I'm going to hit Next, and we're going to go right up to the, uh, the, the lookup mm -hmm. uh, step here. And in the lookup step, I've hard-coded the phone number for Scribe software. Mm -hmm. So this is our main phone number. And so what's going to happen is that uh, this next caller is going to return information about that phone number. And so here oh, we're ready to go. We haven't yet executed that next caller lookup. But, but it we're going to find number. out exactly what that next caller code in that fast framework mm -hmm. is telling Scribe Online to do. Oh, okay. And so what we'll do is we'll hit next. Mm -hmm. And if we come down to Fiddler, we should already see an API call out mm. to next caller and we 443 do 443 too. And so if we take a look at that, we can see that a call was made, a get call was made mm. to next caller. Mm -hmm. And there's the phone number, 603, 622, 5109. That's our main number. Yep. And down here we see the raw result here. It's a little bit unreadable, but if mm -hmm. I switch to the JSON view, we can see that the raw result pings that phone number at 1750 Elm Street, mm. Manchester, New Hampshire. Yeah. And that's exactly where we're standing right now. Yep. So we got good caller ID information mm -hmm. that was returned, but we never actually hit a breakpoint here in uh, um. in our connector. Now, okay. I didn't actually hit the debug, but we never would have hit that uh, breakpoint because okay. that breakpoint is actually somewhere inside the fast connector framework. Right. So. We've bypassed that and we actually know exactly what information is being sent out, what's coming back, and if we go back and look at our map, we can see that the map did in fact return that information. Okay. Uh, there's some nulls in there, but it did return that information. Nice, that's really... So, that is how we use Fiddler. Mm -hmm. uh, we look like we have a certificate error there, but that's okay. <laughs> <coughs> that's, that's what happens when you're working live, right? That's right. So now we've actually used uh, Fiddler. Uh, we saw what went out, what, what came back yeah. in. Uh, are we done? Um, well, or... probably not, right? Because we still have Fiddler running, so it's got all, it's still capturing everything, right? Do we have exactly. to turn that off? Yeah, we do have to turn that off. Okay. So Fiddler is going to sit there and uh, capture everything that you do. Uh, anything that doesn't go through Fiddler is going to give you a certificate error like we just saw. Oh, so oh. if you were actually browsing uh, in another window in your uh, uh, in Chrome or, or Firefox, mm -hmm. you're actually going to encounter some issues. So mm -hmm. we need to get rid of Fiddler. Fiddler's strictly for for uh, uh, tracing. So we need to stop the Scribe Online agent. Okay. We need to back out the changes that we made to the config file. Oh, right. File. Yeah, that um, those lines that you added. Okay. And uh, we can... Um, we can then restart the agent. So, so we'll do that very quickly, and we should be all set. So let's go back to our file. We're going to back. We're going to comment out those lines. We'll save that. All right. We'll stop Fiddler, and then we'll simply restart our service. Okay. And now we're back to normal. Mm -hmm. Now we're not going to see those traces, uh, but we've already verified that the correct information is coming back and forth. Right. Um, and we've backed everything back out, so I think we're all set. And that wow. is how we use Fiddler. Great. Thanks, Josh. All right. Thank you. We'll see you next time. See you next time.